here we are. We're on Tuesday. This is the Triple X, bringing this episode off to a start. She's doing well. We don't have to give her any solution because we just did it yesterday. We're gonna hit her on Thursday when we come in here. But as you see, she's starting to fill in that net. We're gonna continue to train her down to take advantage of the trellis to make sure we have a nice green canopy before we flip. So I will we'll come in here on Thursday and I'll show you the development. Just a little quick peek, see what's up. We're here on Tuesday on the OGs. This is the one that we uh, brought over that was super not doing well uh, from the last episode. And as you see, we're starting to get that bouncing back. We're starting to get a, more, a happier looking plant. It's progressing nicely. She's all right on the solution for now. I actually might hit her with some solution today. I'm gonna hit her with a five, five liters of just a basic feed and she'll be good to go. I'll catch you guys on Thursday. See you then. We're in here on the Thursday. We're on the cell phone actually this time. Just to come and show you how we're looking. As you see, we're getting a lot better progress on the newer growth coming out of this plant. I just removed some more of the dead leaves, but I would say that probably by the time we're done this episode, we probably won't have any more dead leaves left on this plant. That's how quickly this stuff can bounce back if you uh, you stay on it. So, we did hit this with that solution when we were in here on uh, on Tuesday. So we're not going to have to hit her again until Saturday when we're in here. I just wanted to come in here and show you kind of how it's getting more green than yellow now. And that's exactly what we want. All she needed is the space and the uh, room underneath the light to just uh, take off. As you see how the plant's still a little bit on that on that side, over here, I'm gonna try to train this way. So that's why it doesn't look like it's lined up. If we need to, we can move the light later on if we wanna keep it more to that side. But we wanna make sure that you get where the photons come down in the plant, you wanna make sure that you're getting that good coverage. A lot of people fail on canopies because they don't have enough, they may have enough like light, but they may not have enough light to cover the entire area of their canopy. Bring you guys in here. This is the Triple X by Ethos. She's really starting to dominate this, uh, this tent. This weekend, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start taking off a lot of these bigger kind of fan leaves so we can let all our branches do the thing. We're gonna make sure that we do a good tuck throughout uh, again. And uh, we may be considering flipping this pretty soon because we're pretty full. There's only so many times I wanna keep on trying to train a branch down. We may add in another, another trellis net, maybe for the veg, cause it's in a small area like this. And we'll just, we'll just play with it. We'll, we'll play it by ear. We'll come in here on Saturday with a game plan and we'll get this symmetrical by the time we, we finish, be it a second net or or what have you, but we wanna make sure we have a nice even canopy when we flip, and this isn't even enough to make me happy, so we may add that actual layer. Stay tuned, Saturday we're gonna work on her. I'm just gonna hit her with a regular solution of a part of a, of a flower A and B, uh, add some aminos to the A, and that's all I've been feeding her. It's just an A and B with a little aminos on the A for uh, for the calcium uptake. I will see you guys in Saturday on this one. Here we are checking on that chocolate marshmallow. So this, this lady still has a little bit of moisture to her. She'll probably be another day, day or two in this uh, drying condition, so that's good. The monster skunk in the uh, that seed harvest video is drying faster than she is. So we'll deal with this one in a day or two. I'll catch you guys on that. We'll probably get this one trimmed up and weighed up by the, uh, by the end of the weekend. So that's gonna be part of this video. That's gonna be awesome. 
Uh, and then the following episode, we may do a smoke test. I'm not going to smoke it right away. I don't want to let it sit. And again, if we don't make the top 10 for the photo submissions, uh, we're still going to send our a sample away to get tested because I am curious to see where I stack against everybody else in the competition that way. I'll see you guys when we go check out the triple uh, X and the OGs is at the power station. And now one hangs. She's ready to go for the harvest. We're getting all ready to do her. This is the chocolate marshmallow. This one smells so nice. I can't wait to see what happens when we uh, start checking out, see what those nuggets have, see what they look like. But yeah, it's stinky, it's nice, it's greasy now. Let's check you on the way in after we do this. But first off, I'll show you kind of how I trim. So this one bucket, once I have somebody else to help me, they'll use it. But for now, I'm just gonna bring a few of those branches, cut off the nugs, put them in here. And then we'll go from here over to trimming station which i like to have my uh, uh a nice high intensity light so i can see the buds and see what i'm doing i will always run there's a pair of scissors over there because i'm going to be bucking some off but once doing that i always have one in the soak and one in the trim i use gloves to make sure that my hands don't become absolutely a nightmare by the time you're done i call this my fuck it bucket this is where uh you're gonna put the sticks and stuff for now we're actually going to be keeping all the uh all the larf and whatever smalls that you get off all the trim because this one's actually really nice really nice smell i with the monster skunk we didn't save it because it was kind of those crispy leaves and i wasn't really into uh keeping the crispies so we'll make sure this is all nicely cleaned out we'll use our brush we'll brush it all out we do have trichomes already so that's from before but that's we're just gonna build on top of that and uh, those trichomes we're just gonna put into a separate jar for smokables good times so I'll bring you back when we do the weigh-in this is for the chocolate marshmallow here we go we're at the weigh-in time this is our chocolate marshmallow just finished that up today had the day off so it was a perfect day to get through it we have this zeroed out this is that run that for the uh, Great Canadian Grow Off. And the nugs are so nice. There's a nice one right here. Super nice, super frosty. There will be a video, or there will be a high definition post picture on Instagram. So stay tuned for that. I kind of do that at the end of every run. Like, I know this one doesn't even go to the points, but I swear that's probably a that's an eighth right there. Yeah, it just jumped up. So let's see what we got. So, all in all, we got 249 on the edge of 250. That's a really nice haul for that, that that plant. Yeah, there we are. Two, it keeps blinking. And that was on 240 watts. If I even ran it 100%, I don't even think I ran it 100%. I'll have to look back at it. So, this is a really good yield, really good product overall too. Great amount of frost. We go, but uh, stay tuned. There's gonna be pictures of uh, this one on Instagram. Yep. See you guys on the next one. We're in here on the Oh Jesus. She is looking better, much better actually. But well, we're gonna come through today and we're just gonna take out a lot of these dead leaves and stretch her through the, the net. So you're gonna see that on a time lapse right up here. We also wanna actually, we're gonna give her a solution as well. Got that filled up, ready to go for both of them. Triple X.
looking fantastic. We're gonna pull out a lot of the bigger fan leaves, focus on the branches, tuck down and maybe add a second net. I will do maybe three nets on this one and uh, go from there and hit her with a solution as well. So she's all happy. All right. This one I'll bring you back to show you. And this one will do a time lapse. So, so. Here we go. So this is what I mean. Taking out a lot of branches, bent down a little tops, like way down. They'll grow back up. What we are gonna do is we are gonna put a second net across this. And we are gonna be flipping this plant. It's gonna be a weird flip. It's gonna be on Monday. I'm gonna bring a little, ex a small one foot extension so I can actually plug in another timer. So we can have our dual timer for when we both go, when both tents go into flower, they'll be on the same time. But for now, we're gonna wanna have this running um, in flower. This is a full canopy. Uh, our branches, remember the branches we were working on developing? We have some nice sturdy branches now. So they will still continue to develop a little bit, but now they're gonna be strong enough to hold up good flowers instead of spindly little ones. All right, so we're gonna set up, a, set up a, another trellis going across so that we can train into that. Uh, we will probably put a third one on later on in flower to help support the buds, but that's about it So yeah, we're gonna put her we, this this is kind of our vegging one But we are gonna have an early flower trellis that we're gonna allow to, to do some training and then let them grow up So this is gonna be an exciting run I'll show you what it looks like after we put on the trellis and then we'll be back on Monday with the uh, with another timer and a little extension so we can set this proper see them so to bring back to show you quickly, one, I just wanted to point out two things. One, this lower trellis net, once this one is fully utilized and there's nothing relying on this lower one, we'll probably end up taking it out after we do our cleanups and, and flower. Cause you'll just see basically a net with nothing around it, nothing, not doing anything either. If you were to take it out, we'll take it out at that point when this one has full support of the structure. And then we're gonna have a little, one a little higher than this just to support the buds as we start to break through our scrog layer. Another good thing to do is try to put your zap straps below the, uh, the push buttons. This actually helps prevent it from going upwards, whereas down here, they can still move. And if you do them there, they won't. They won't move past it. So this will be a hard train line for it. So um, that's, that's if you don't have the uh, the bars that go across like my main stage which is quite helpful because you could just attach straight to that and here we are i'll see you guys on monday when we flip this So as you see, we've trained it out a bit more. I've taken out a lot of the dead leaves. That's what we're gonna be working on for the next little bit. We're gonna be working on getting rid of the dead leaves as the new healthier leaves are growing in, healthier growth. Once this plant is totally healthy, ready to go, we'll flip her. Um, she's gonna be on a separate light cycle from the 2x2 for now. That's gonna go into flower on Monday because it's totally ready to go. We don't wanna skip a beat, however, you don't want to put a, a plant in the flower that looks like this. You want it to come back. You want it to be strong. You want it to be healthy like that triple X was before you even consider it. All right. So look at looking at these stems. This has some stuff that needs to still work, be happened on it. And it was really not healthy in the uh, three by three. So we are bringing it back. And like I'm showing you in this episode, they do come back quickly. Remember what it looked like a week ago. So stay tuned. You'll see on Monday a little bit more progress. It might be a couple weeks out of flower, but we'll get there. It's no rush. I got this to, I got this to cut down today. I got the others, I got the chocolate marshmallow all trimmed up. That's in the cure. That is incredible, really sticky. So not too concerned. 
see you guys in on Monday. We're here on the Monday. We're checking up on the OGs. So this is the one that we did a little bit of cleaning up on on the weekend, stretching her through. She's looking way better than she did when she was crowded, of course, inside the 3x3. Um, but so this lady is still going to be vetched out for a bit. We want it to be totally ready to go and healthy before we flip it. So a couple more weeks, I think, for this one. Um, I am not going to come in and feed. We do have a, still have a bit of moisture in our rhizosphere. Plus, I'm in a bit of a rush this morning. And it wouldn't matter because it's still going to do the three-day stretch if I came in here tomorrow. Because it still won't. I, I wouldn't hit it again tomorrow to make it, to make it last. So I want to see how it does tomorrow when I'm in here. We're gonna feed this one and the triple X tomorrow. I just wanted to come in here and close this episode off and show you how the OGs is stacking up. She's looking a lot better if then when if you go back to the beginning of this episode. Very nice. Alright, let's go check on that triple X before we close this off. Alright, here we are in the triple X. You may not have noticed, because I think I did this after we closed off the episode. This this was nice and tight, except for the middle. So what I did is I grabbed the, uh, and I just pulled to one side. I made it an easy side to pull to, just to really make sure our middle is tight. And we have a good, even level that we're gonna start, uh, this is what we're gonna turn into. And as promised, we brought in the, uh, the little extension, secondary timer, and we are, Turns on at 10 p.m. Turns off at 10 a.m. We're gonna be running the light on this one over nighttime, just because that would be our coldest time. So we're gonna to try to make sure we have our light on to keep it warm throughout that coldest period. During the day, it's a little warmer, so it's gonna help until we get our main stage back online. When we get that back online, this whole room just heats back up. So we're gonna close this episode off and we're gonna come back tomorrow feed both of them as you see this one see there's still moisture when you go deeper we're still okay until tomorrow I wanted to see how the uh, three-day stretch will be anyways so it's a good kind of a uh, test catch you guys when we start it off until then have a fantastic day <laughs>